Hello, Tara here, working on day one of Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches, Series 15, with a sketch from Ginger Bush with, uh, let's see, she's got three four by four photos and then some hexagon elements and some arrows. Um, so I think I'm going to do this. So I'll have these two photos of Cameron baking up a storm, uh, running down this way. I'm not sure if I'll keep them straight or not. Probably. Yes. Then I was thinking about maybe not hexagons, but then maybe hex <laughs> anyway, I've got this Spellbinders um, set that I haven't used yet. And they're, they're a hexagon, but they're more of a one, two, three. Yeah. But they're more of a, a, a diamond shape. What do they call them? Hexy gems. Oh, okay. So I thought those would be kind of neat because then we can do, and I'm thinking I might not even do all one size here because these are two different sizes over here. So I may even play with that with different sizes on this side as well. And then use those for cluster bases. Like we've got the fridge, the stove, big oven mitt. This guy might go over here. I don't know. Do something. Um, okay, so that's it for that. And I'm thinking, so put our bits up here. I'm thinking using this is the base. And this, like so, um, and using this paper or this one or a mixture of the both for the hexagons. And then again, there'll be enough to use them for matting as well. Oh, wait. Is there anything here? Oh, there's this for cookies. I should probably cut that out, huh? Maybe that. Maybe just one. And then use the rest. Yeah. And uh, his name's Cameron. So the C is, is good for that. Oh, I, there's also the cookbook. Maybe both of those. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we'll use for our hexagons. And then what I had for uh, the bits I had picked out or had randomly chosen was torn paper, multi-font title, and washi. So what I thought was I could tear along maybe, maybe two sides, maybe this side and this side, top and bottom. Or, or maybe I'll do a, a border punch like um, a notebook punch and then tear along that border to make it a little more interesting. Um, Multi-font title. Well, I had this alpha picked out and I had that. Happiness is homemade. I don't know. So I was going to do either future baker or baking up a storm or I don't know yeah so I'm, I probably will pull in one more font uh, one more alpha something small maybe and do like a long longish title with that um I did have these these florals picked these are flower child florals um, some of them will work, I think. Then for washi, I grabbed 
I want to say this is probably a Heidi Swap one, and maybe this one too. It's, so one's clouds, one's just a ruler, but it, the colors will go. And then this is a stripe. So I don't know if I'll use all of them or just one. And then I also had the sequins from Rachel Talman, and this is Blue Fairy. That was from, is that May? Yeah, that was May. Um, so that covers all of our things. So I might do like kind of a, this might be nice. Instead of the arrows have, well, no, then the clouds are running that way. Maybe this one with some sequins like every so often on on the arrow. Like I'll, I'll do something in a linear type thing to match the sketch. Sorry, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking I'm not talking. Okay, um, I'm going to go and get some work on this done. I may end up finishing it by the time I get back. I don't know what my day is going to be like. So um, that's my plan. We'll see how close how close we stick to it. Uh, be back in a bit. Okay, a few days later, but we're done. Um, so uh, I managed to use all of my bits that I said I was going to use. So I had said torn paper, and I've got that down here. I said a multi-font title, doop, 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 and washi. So I've got some across here, and then some running up here. So the washi I used was this cloud pattern, uh, kind of torn in strips across, and then layered with torn strips of this, and then this is just going down here. And I don't know. I want to say maybe that's either Vicki Booten or um, Heidi Swap, and I kind of think this must be Vicki Booten because it's the thicker one, but I, I don't know for sure. So, um, what do we use? From our page kit, all I have left are these little bits here. Ended up not using cookbook, and I cut out, fussy cut out the cookie. I have that little bit there, these die cuts, and that left of that. So, how I did my die cuts was... Um, I use the Spellbind spell, bleh, Spellbinders Essential Hexi Gems. So I've got one here. <laughs> There's one in here. One here, one here, one here. Oh no, this is the one on this side. So I used two. So I used all different sizes. Um, and I used two so that I could make my little shaker pocket there using the Rachel Talman um, Blue Fairy and I thought the colors were really pretty and then there's more scattered around so that was it for the die cuts I used um, the story time oh story time chapters that's what these ones are um, alphabet that I'd put in with it and then I'd covered I um Colored them with the grabby acrylic marker in. There's no color on it. Anyway. <laughs> and uh, covered it with a layer of the Nouveau Crystal Glaze. And I don't know if you can see. Just It, it just gives it a little bit of something. Um, I also used a combination of... Let's see, for the Baker and Training, I didn't have enough of any one color, so I used the oranges from both of these. One's Days of Splendor and one's The Best Day. And I honestly don't know if I put them back in the right, <laughs> the right sleeves, but that's what I used for this. And then for Cameron, I used these ones, which were Good Times. Yeah can't remember if this came no this wasn't one that came in the kit I don't think one of the missed tier kits so I think that was everything oh and I did use um 
the EK, EK Success book binding punch along the top. And I ended up layering kind of three uh, pieces there just for a little more. It, I mean, it's all the same color basically, but it just helps to bump it up. Um, and then these were Pink Fresh. Uh, nope. Nope. Um, Jen, nope. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jen had Hadfield Flower Child um, florals, and I thought they mixed in nice. So, anyway, that's day one. <laughs> oh, I'm super behind, but I'm actually getting some stuff done, so I'm okay with that. Um, so, we'll be back with day two. And, um, yeah, I hope everybody else is is uh playing along and thank you ginger for your lovely sketch once again which i completely butchered and uh, i will put ginger's um links in the description there so thanks very much and we'll see you again